hi welcome now I am going to show you how to solve uh, cubic equation okay in Excel uh, I am going to use uh, the data okay data in the what if analysis there is option called uh, uh, goal seek uh, find the right input for the value you want okay so for the uh, for I am going to use this goal seek functionality to solve the cubic equation goal seek is actually uh, finding the right uh, input for the value you want for example for any formula we have a formula cell here okay for example the same equation here I put it in formula cell here b5 cube plus b5 square plus uh, 2b5 minus 180 1, 1, 1896 okay this value usually what we do is we for a formula in a cell uh, I put uh, this is my cell and uh, this is the formula I put a value here then I will use the formula to calculate the value and come up with the overall formula value okay but in this case what I'm going to do uh, in the reverse okay uh, for this f this number I'm going to set the outcome first what is the outcome I wanted what is my uh, right hand side value I wanted what is this va this formula must return back okay then for that I'm going to find the input uh, that is what it is telling okay uh, okay so the that's why what if is giving the name that uh, the description that find the right input for the value you want so okay w for the outcome I want what is the outcome I want then what must be th my input for the formula usually it is I have the input I put the value and what I will get is the function value okay usually they say function is you send some input it will return back a outcome but in this case is the reverse I have the formula I want some value for this case I want the value for this cubic equation value for 0 then what should be my input for x okay the changing variable I define the changing variable x here and uh, what what is my uh, okay what is my input input is x okay so what uh, so this is my input value okay out of input this is b5 okay so if it is x in this case it is b5 okay so same formula i put it here as a same equation here uh, x cube plus x square plus 2x minus 1896 i put it as a formula here okay in this case x is replaced by this cell uh, this cell uh, uh, this uh, by this cell b5 okay in this case b5 cube plus b5 we can see like this okay b5 cube which is x cube plus b5 square which is x square plus uh, 2b5 minus 1896 okay so this one how can I solve it so now uh, now my initial value is 0 okay so my value is minus 19 uh, 1896 okay when the x is 0 obviously right hand side is only this number which is minus 9 uh, minus 896 okay now I want this formula value to be if uh, whatever value I put it here for example if I put x is 2 then my LHS will change uh, okay for um, uh, this uh, w for me what I am doing here is I want to set this LHS uh, this formula to be 0 okay then I am going to search for x that means I keep on changing now I will put a 3 I will see LHS uh, 4 to 4 sorry this is for the second formula okay okay I'll put it for 4 
and I see the LHS so I keep uh, uh, searching for different different access I'm keep searching for zero my target is zero for the uh, left hand side formula okay so well, I keep putting x different values okay this is the idea okay now I'm going to solve it how can I solve it this uh, data what if analysis goes sick okay so this cell I want to be zero so which is FI I want to set the cell FI to value zero okay but how can I set it zero by changing because this formula depends on B5 which is X uh, in, in this case okay by changing this cell okay it is I I already put for there you can put any value if you know the solution you can okay if you find okay my solution is between 1 to 13 or anything you can put um, uh, closer value here okay so that uh, the iteration will be less and it will converge to the solution fast okay if you don't know the value just put to zero okay if you want a negative solution then you go and put it something in minus uh, thousand minus nine hundred something like that then it will converge to the minus solution for example you may have a different solution for the same uh, equation okay uh, to one more than one solution you want the positive solution put a positive big number so that you will get a positive solution you don't know what is the solution then you just put zero okay in this case I just leave it four okay so I'm just press okay you see here it is uh, giving me the answer 11.999941 okay because the iterations it has a limited number of iterations the iteration is over so it stopped okay now you have you can see here it is converging to uh, 12 okay whereas this is converging to 0 so you can accept this one as a okay you can truncate uh, or uh, round it off for uh, two digits or anything it will become uh, 12 okay if you are not satisfied or you 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 think you cannot find it is converging or what you can start up with the same thing again and do the one more time okay zero changing variable is x now the initial value is 11.999 which is we already see it is target value is 0 okay so it, it it is more like it already found the solution okay that means 11.12 is the 12 11.9999 9, which is nothing but 12 is the answer okay you can form cells you will see 12 Yes, see so how many digits you want to keep it what is your precision you must uh, leave the precision there okay which is okay now the second one is also the similar I put a little bit uh, uh, complex here we have big number here so that we will do uh, many iterations okay and you see our answer is 21 okay so what I will start up with is 0 okay because uh, I want more of more uh, iterations to demonstrate to you okay and uh, you can see here uh, this case x is b6 okay this cell x is b6 okay you can see 4 b6 cube which is here minus 8 b6 square okay and uh, minus b6 x is replaced with b6 minus 33495 okay what you we are going to solve this data what if analysis goal seek a6 okay for uh, a6 i am going to solve it to value 
I want the value target value is this one my goal is to set this one to 0 okay the equation to 0 by how I'm going to achieve my target by changing the b6 value okay x here okay so this is my b6 okay in this uh, situation uh, we come up with uh, some answer you can multiply that one and see whether it is uh, really uh, the answer for this uh, okay if you uh, if you find uh, this answer is not uh, then start with this one as the initial value and start working with uh, for uh, in this case uh, i know this is not the answer for uh, this thing okay minus uh, eight point or something okay so what i'm going to do is that i start up again with the same thing okay I've, i'm setting it to zero by changing value of this uh, okay and again i'll do one more iteration now it come up with a minus 34 okay minus 34 is this it could be an answer so okay minus 34.3 so i just put a minus 34 and see whether it is the answer no it still have a big minus number this side in lhs so i'm i just uh, start up with minus 34 again set this cell to zero x 21 you see now the 21 is obviously this is obviously 0 because it is minus 2 point e power minus 0 minus 0 8 okay so this is the answer you can always set these uh, cells to uh, two decimal place or four decimal places then you can see the answer okay instead of confuse yourself okay uh, now hope um, this way you can uh, use uh, our excel and go seek to solve any kind of cubic equation okay but a cubic equation polynomial of uh, uh, degree 3 and uh, one with only one variable okay hope uh, this video is helpful to you if you like my videos please uh, subscribe to my channel the button is already there in the video itself is showing and also you can watch other videos and uh, leave your comments uh, suggestions uh, in the comment uh, it 